I'm Harrison Graham. Here's what we got coming up on today's Chiefs report. Isaiah Bugs has been released. We'll talk about the details there and why Kansas City did it. Nico Remigio drawing some hype. Can he push for a 53-man roster spot heading into training camp? And Travis Kelsey living his best life with Taylor Swift. All that coming up here on today's show. So subscribe to the channel. We'll continue to plug out videos every single day. And thank you guys so much as we crossed 55,000 subs over the weekend. Your support of the Chiefs report has been awesome. Let's keep it rolling here on this channel. All right, let's get to the news of the day. Isaiah Bugs has been released. I mentioned last week I thought this would happen. And now it has as uh, he is now has two serious charges. Uh, against him at this point in time. Tom Pelissero also added the note that Isaiah Bugs' bond was, was revoked after his most recent arrest, and he's currently in jail as multiple legal cases play out. Bigger issues to worry about than football in Kansas City is moving on. And those two charges are he's got the animal cruelty charge, and then this recent one is a domestic battery type of issue, uh, domestic robbery, like bad stuff. Again, the we'll, legal s system plays itself out, but uh, the Chiefs have decided to move on. Kansas City moving on from Isaiah Boggs is a pretty easy decision. I mentioned this last week. I'll mention it again here. When you're a fringe roster player in the NFL and you have two major charges against you, animal cruelty, and then a domestic robbery situation, kind of an easy decision for an organization who's chasing a third straight Super Bowl. It's one thing when Rasheed Rice screws up a couple of times, you're like, ah, well, that's a second round pick last year, had almost a thousand yards, emerged as Patrick Mahomes' top receiver. Yeah, we're going to let this play out. Isaiah Bugs, two incidents in less than a month, ah, we're just going to cut you because you're already having to fight for a roster spot. No-brainer decision. I don't blame the Chiefs for doing this at all. If he gets cleared, hey, he gets cleared. Um, you know, best of luck to him. But uh, uh, these teams don't mess around, man. Like, if you're not a significant player, you kind of can't mess up like this. And you certainly can't mess up twice or at least be accused of messing up twice in a major way. So uh, best of luck to Isaiah Bugs. But uh, the Chiefs have uh, moved on, and I think it was a pretty easy decision. You look at the Chiefs' defensive tackle depth chart. I mean, where was Bugs fitting anyway? I mean, to me, he's behind, obviously, Chris Jones, Derek Nottie, Tershawn Wharton, and Mike Pinnell. He's fighting with Neil Farrell, Farrell Jr. probably as your fifth defensive tackle. I mean, fourth at best. Like, this, this is not a player that you're just going to let multiple serious charges play out. Uh, and, and Andy Reid's a big believer in second chances, but it's kind of like, all right, the animal cruelty charge was one thing, he denied that, but then a couple of weeks later, you get charged with a bigger crime. It's, it's you know, these, again, these teams, even Andy Reid, it's like eventually it's like, all right, we're, gonna, we're just going to move on here. And uh, uh, again, a pretty easy decision for the Chiefs for a player fighting for a roster spot. What do you guys think? Did the Chiefs make the right decision here? Type Y for yes, or you can type N for no. I think they did, and uh, I, I don't think this is one that kept them up at night. Let's talk about Nico Remigio. He has a chance to make the Chiefs a roster. ESPN dropped an article of one surprise standout for each team heading into training camp, and Adam Teicher of ESPN mentioned Remigio. He says, Remigio and part of Xavier Worthy's injured hamstring received a good run with the first unit during Chiefs OTAs in minicamp, and he made the most of his opportunities. One edge Remigio might have in making the roster is his ability as a kickoff returner. And look, this is now two off seasons in a row where Remigio has stood out. Remember last year's at UDFA out of Fresno State? It's like, that's the name we kept hearing. OTA's minicamp, training camp. He eventually got injured and they kind of IR stash him. Like, he was pushing for a roster spot last year before the injury. And now, I think he's got a real shot, man. Like, he's shifty, he's talented, he gets open. Teicher's mention of the uh, the new kickoff rules, more returns going to be in play. He can handle those duties if you need him to. Like, after Rasheed Rice, Marquise Brown, and Xavier Worthy, like, who are your next guys? Like, Remigio's right in there. I mean, it's Sky Moore, Kadarius Toney, Justin Watson, Justin Ross, uh, you know, Montra Washington. Like, Nico Remigio is absolutely in the discussion after the top three receivers on this team. And by the way, uh, Rasheed Rice still could face a suspension, so he's not going to count as a roster spot initially. Like, you've got a real shot to make this team if you're Nico Remigio with a strong training camp. It's, 
it is it is wide open after the top three. So if he can contribute on special teams, if he can consistently make plays within the offense, I think he's got at least a 50-50 shot to make this roster. So I'm keeping an eye on him. He's a player I like. I, I, I think if he continues to make plays, uh, he's a name I would circle uh, as someone to make this offense. And it, it's kind of Justin Watson-esque, right? Like a couple of years ago, they signed him and – Mahomes keeps hyping him up, and it's like, this guy just makes plays. Like, Remigio kind of just makes plays. And by the way, he's got more talent than Justin Watson. What do you guys think? Predict it. Will Nico Remigio make the Chiefs 53-man roster, M for make or C for cut? Let's step on a limb and say that he makes this team. I like what he brings to the table, and he's kind of a no-nonsense kind of guy. He's just putting his head down and going to work. So I'm going to type my M for make. All right, coming up next here in just a few moments, Kelsey living his best life during the summer before uh, the Chiefs report to training camp next month. We'll talk about that. But first, this hat and t-shirt combo still on sale. We're running out. Still some available, though. Chatsports.com slash KC combo. If you want to get this hat and t-shirt for like 45% off, do so today. Link is in the comments and in the description of this video. Chatsports.com slash KC combo. So Travis Kelsey on the road with Taylor Swift made an on-stage appearance with his girlfriend and seemed to be enjoying himself. She seemed to enjoy it as well. And it just really got me thinking that, A, like this guy was already incredibly rich and famous and living a great life. He's Patrick Mahomes' teammate. He's going to the Hall of Fame. He's a stud. Like he's, It seems like a fun guy to be around. But like, is there a bigger star couple, not just currently, but like in the last 10 years, globally, by the way. I mean, I, I don't think people realize whether you like her, dislike her, like her music, dislike her music, whatever the case may be, Taylor Swift is probably the biggest international superstar on the planet at this point. I mean, you, there's probably bigger American-only superstars, but globally, I mean, she's doing concerts all over the place and filling 100,000-seat arenas and Travis Kelsey is now dating, or one of the most popular players in the NFL. It's just, it, it's fascinating. This is not a couple I would have ever expected based on both their prior dating histories, but it's certainly interesting. They seem to be enjoying uh, life, and uh, hey, if, if you're not for it, that's all you, but uh, it just kind of feels like you're hating if you're not, because uh, last year, oh, it's this big discretion. Yeah, they, they won the Super Bowl, so <laughs> it seemed to work out just fine. So uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, how this plays out into the season, if she's still going to games and all that stuff. But uh, they seem to be smitten and uh, pretty strong uh, star couple at this point in time. All right, appreciate everybody for tuning in to the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. My name is Harrison Graham. More content to come. Hit that subscribe button.